The biggest reason Ken Garf started to look at empowering women in our business, I think is because we started to look at what were we missing? And as we looked at diversity and we looked at the data, we realized we have a huge opportunity for some untapped potential as it relates to women. We're currently only 20% women in our business and we knew, wait a second, women do an amazing job with customers. They're smart at business. Traditionally, they haven't been a part of our business as much as one would hope or like. So why not expand that and see what it could do uh, as a business case? When we evaluate anything in our business, we always push it up against our values. And in this case, we were lucky enough to have Pat uh, come in and guide us and help us see some things that we maybe had not seen and look at things a little bit differently than we had looked at before. And then when we say, is that aligned with our values and we find that it isn't, then it's time to change. And so it, it's simple, it's not easy, but it's a simple uh, evaluation. And so for us, we want all of our employees to succeed. That was the hope and desire of, of what we sit down every week and try to plan and do and strategize. And so when we realize that we could do that better through this initiative, it was easy for us to latch on to this. At Ken Garf Automotive, our mission is treat people right. Upon reflection of that, we really started to realize that doesn't mean treat 70, 80 percent of your employees right. It means treat everyone right. Our customers were telling us, we're not comfortable coming into your dealerships where I get spoken down to or I'm a bit intimidated as a woman. And we recognize one of the ways we can correct that is have more female employees interacting with our customers. It was really a combination of the two things and became a no-brainer for us. What we realized through this process is the principles that lift and include and help the women belong in our organization actually work for everybody. It works for any employee. And so we recognize that leadership focus, leadership training, most people want to do the best job that they can. Sometimes they just don't know how. And so for us, it was an opportunity to learn together, to teach and listen, and try to grow as a leadership team. So our, our leadership focus across the board has been an important initiative for us. We recognized there had to be a series of steps to take. We couldn't go from 100 years of doing the car business one way and change overnight. So first off, we recognized the need for education. And Pat Jones and the Women Leadership Institute was a huge part of that. Pat came and spoke to our leadership team and then our general managers and finally all of our employees. And what she really helped us understand, it's a mission that you do together. You don't elevate women by alienating the men. You actually lift everybody together. The second step was we said, okay, let's start just slow with a We Speaker series where every other month we have all the women gather together across all of our states and all of our regions. We have really motivating and inspiring women talk to us on ways that they have navigated the business world and giving us great tips and ideas on how we can be more effective as women in the business world. So some of the initiatives that we put in place that have been the most impactful is first off, getting women as department heads, recognizing that great women leaders can also recruit great women employees. And the second thing we're striving for and measuring is that we have a woman in every production position in every dealership. And what we mean by production position are just customer facing positions. So we'll have women service advisors in every dealership, women sales advisors in every dealership. Those have become initiatives that are easy to get behind, easy as a rallying cry also. For us at Ken Garf, being a recipient of the A. Scott Anderson Award is such a huge accomplishment. To be recognized for our effort means a lot to us. We are completely humbled and grateful to receive and to be considered for the A. Scott Anderson Ally Award. This really is a huge honor for us. We have made great progress. We know we have a long, long way to go, but what's exciting is to, to look back and see where we've come from and to see the progress that we've made. So thank you for, for seeing the contributions, the work that we've put behind this. Thank you for this incredible honor. 
and we promise that we will continue to work hard and to move forward and in this great endeavor.